Good evening to all. Um, and a uh, good night, Logra. Hanwa boy namona ibo muye. My name is Wari Vele, and I'm a businessman, uh, former governor of NCD, and I decided to contest this seat. And then I will be reading my policies. Why? Because me worry long you. All right, um, my policy number one is before we do anything, I will put God first as my policy number one. And that is my party policy um, with uh, my party leader, uh, Honorable Se Pitayama. God first in everything we do and uh, don't take it um, like a, it may be a cargo car type of thing but um, we will assist in churches in many ways and also uh, we want to see transparency in operating the city hall and the city finances uh, to see, see accountability. And the second policy I want to see is uh, level five hospitals. Level five hospitals in um, three electorates that's in Mosby South and um, Mosby Northeast and Mosby Northwest. And that is level five hospital must be like a, a state of heart where all the doctors and all the um, nurses and um, will be um, on the premises and operating with the latest of all the equipments from cancer diagnosis to uh, Diabetic, uh, diabetes and uh, all sorts of diseases, all diseases that are uh, hitting um, Papua New Guineans at the moment. That's the next one I want to look at. And the following, I want to see big community centers. Big community centers, uh, suburban centers and also the major centers where you may have uh, events that may be held in most of the, uh, in the three electorates. So community centers where we have uh, uh, events, proper events to be staged and uh, mainly indoor, some of the indoor stadiums or, or you know, centers where we can manage so many uh, other things as well in the centers. State of art schools, for example, like the Butuka school, which was a uh, fund finance and which was a uh, finance through um, donor funding and also the government of Peter O'Neill uh, during his time as the Prime Minister. Uh, the State of Heart School that is at Butuka, we want to see more of those in, um, in our city. Maybe 10 or if we can, we can go, go for 20 and we will look for loans and donors to finance the schools. And uh, we want to see more of those schools in the city. Housing for All. Uh, we want to talk with the um, Motu Koitabu, uh, the Motu Koitabu Assembly and also the landowners so all the stakeholders will benefit because we want to get the Motu Koitas to uh, submit, sublet their uh, land for, to allow for, for my policy to build housing for all from um, low workers, low earning workers, low income earners and uh, like a taxi driver. So or store shop assistants, security guards, up to clerical levels and then up, upward. And we want to um, minimize the rental costs really down to their level so they can manage. And, uh, and uh, so everybody, all stakeholders benefit, the landowners and the Motokoitabu Assembly, and um, as well as the people who pay the rent. So that's what, what we want to see. Housing for all is a very good policy, and we will be working on that. We want to set up a proper waste management and I had a talk with some of the experts and what they suggest to me that the waste that we collect can be uh, transformed into uh, items like plastics or paper or you know things like that to, to help uh, make up, uh, sorry, build factories so that we can um, build factories out of those many things and do many other things like, like uh, uh, out of the waste that, that can be transformed. So, I am very impressed with the experts and they are Papua New Guineans that spoke to me and we want to engage them to come up with a proposal so we can do a proper waste management system and enforce 
proper wage management system. And that will also provide uh, uh, plenty of employment op opportunities for our young people. Upgrading and overhauling of the water supply system, which is one of the major cries in the city where you go everywhere, even the city dwellers and the, uh, <clears throat> the middle income earners also. I wish that there should be a better water system in throughout the city. So uh, it, can be, it can be done in two phases, the long term, the short term solution where we can install uh, uh, overhead water tanks, huge overhead water tanks and uh, we can supply uh, water through cutting of the water to these water tanks and then also to to talk to the engineers we have I've talked to a couple of them to to overhaul and upgrade the water system supply into all the cities where when you open up the taps the water flow every day without cut water cuts water disconnections no middleman policy like uh, in the past and uh, everywhere, we had small paper contractors coming up to get the jobs done and, uh, and then um, the profits go elsewhere. This type of engagement and this type of arrangement will now be stopped because we are now, my policy of no middleman policy, we will look at ways to employ youths directly to NCDC and we will do a proper structure for that in place and to save the profit costs and the uh, to save all these uh, kickbacks and everything, we now will do away with the middleman policy and uh, come in with the uh, direct to NCDC to be paid a salary. So that's what we mean by a middleman policy.